With seven star Samurai raids having returned for the final time, it's time to take a look at the ultimate solo build that you can use to absolutely destroy Samurai while he's still around. So today, let's take a look at Annihilate to take down Samurai the Unrivaled. All right, so if we're gonna build the ultimate Annihilate, first thing you're gonna need to do is get yourself an Annihilate. And in order to do this, it's a little tricky. So the easiest way to do this for me was uh, to come over here to West Province Area 1 Central. You're gonna hop out of that Poke Stop and you're gonna come all the way up here and you can usually find Mankeys like nobody's business. But first thing you're gonna do is catch yourself a Mankey, just like so. Hey, there we go, crit capture, first throw too. And after you've caught yourself a Mankey, you're gonna wanna level it up to level 100 so it evolves into Primate. And that is the first step in getting yourself an Annihilate. Now, once your Mankey has evolved into Primate, this is where things are gonna get kinda complicated. Because in order for Primate to evolve into Annihilate, you're going to have to use the move Rage Fist 20 times and then level up your Annihilate one more time, okay? And Rage Fist is a move that Primate does learn naturally. That's why I said to make sure he's at level 100. So if you just come in, go to Remember Moves, and you come down here, you can find yourself Rage Fist. And you're gonna teach this to this guy. And after you've taught it to him, you're gonna sit here and uh, use this 20 times. And after that, use a Rare Candy on him, and he'll turn into Annihilate. Rage Fist. And there we go. That is the last Rage Fist we needed to do. That is 20 of them. Just like so. And now that we've done 20 Rage Fists, we're gonna hop into our bag. We're gonna grab one Rare Candy out of our other items. We're gonna use this on our uh, Annihilate, or on our Primate. And as soon as we do that, since we did Rage Punch 20 times, he's gonna evolve into, into Annihilate. And there he is, there's our boy. So if you didn't know, that's how you get Annihilate. Now, let's talk about EVs and IVs for this guy. All right, so when you're ready for EVs and IVs, we're gonna start off with EVs. The first thing you're gonna need to do is go to a town that has a Chansey Supply. You're gonna hop in, start yourself a bulk buy, just like so. And we are gonna start off by buying ourselves 25 HP ups because we're gonna max out Annihilate's HP. And we're also gonna buy ourselves 25 protein if you do not have them already. I have a ton, so I'm not gonna buy any. Once you've done that, you're pretty good to go. The only thing that you need to make sure of is if you don't have one already, make sure you get yourself an Adamant Mint because we are gonna make sure Annihilate has an Adamant Nature. But once you've done that, you've got everything in your cart ready to go. Go ahead and hit that plus button, make your purchase, and then let's head out and build this guy. So we went ahead and flew over to Mountain Varna, so that way we're ready to go for IV training. We don't have to fly there later. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure Annihilate's at the top of our party. We're gonna go into our bag, go to our other items, and we're gonna start off by changing his nature. So we're gonna give him an Adamant Mint, and we're gonna make sure that Annihilate has an Adamant Nature. Just like so. Boom, just like that. After we've done that, we're gonna grab our HP ups that we just purchased at Deli Bird Gifts. We're gonna give Annihilate 25 of these guys, just like that. And then we're gonna give him 25 proteins as well. Just like so. And after you've done that, you may have some extra EV room to play with here. So you're gonna come down, you're gonna give Annihilate some health feathers and some muscle feathers until you see that his EVs in HP and physical attack are both maxed out. Now, once you've done that, you can also throw in some resist feathers in here uh, to help boost up his physical defense as well. So I have five that I can play around with. Let's go ahead and give him five. After that, it's time to check Annihilate Summary and see where we sit right now. So we're level 100. Uh, we have max EVs in HP and physical attack with some in our physical defense. We have an adamant nature, and now we need to focus on his ability because ability right now is vital spirit and we do not want that. So we're gonna hop back into our bag, back into our other items pocket. There we go, we're gonna grab ourselves an ability patch, and we're gonna change Annihilate's ability to Defiant. Now, as long as we're in this bag, let's go ahead and give Annihilate his held item. So we're gonna come all the way down, we are going to give him the Shell Bell as his held item to hold. So we're gonna come over, we're gonna grab him, give him the Shell Bell. And then we're gonna hop over and we're gonna go see our shady friend in the glasses and do some IV training. So we're gonna hop in here. We're gonna get ready to use what little bottle caps we have left over. Just like so, normal bottle caps. 
And for this one, we are going to train everything except our special attack. Because we are not a special attacker. And just like that, our IV training is completely done. And with that, our Annihilate is pretty well built. And we're ready to talk about what moves he needs in order to take down Samurai. All right, and as far as Annihilate's move set goes, it should look exactly like this. You're going to need to know Bulk Up, which is learned via TM. You're going to need to know Screech, which Annihilate learns naturally. You're going to need to know Drain Punch, which Annihilate learns via TM. And finally, we're going to need the staple move of Annihilate, Rage Fist. And with that, once you have that done, your Annihilate is built and ready to go. So it should look something like this. Annihilate, level 100. Shell Bell as the held item. Uh, max EVs in HP and physical attack with a little in his physical defense. Ability is defiant, adamant nature, and the moveset should be bulk up, screech, drain punch, and rage fist. And with that, let's talk about the strat and see what this looks like in a raid. Once you found yourself a Samurai raid, it's time to hop in alone and let's take down Samurai the Unrivaled with our newly built Annihilate. Alright, so as soon as we hop into this raid, the first thing that we're going to do is we need to know that, uh, Samurai will cleanse after three turns, so we're going to spend the first three turns doing Screech and getting his attack down as low as we can get it. Now, Samurai does have some uh, hard-hitting moves, but they don't do as much to annihilate as you would think. He's going to affect our speed, but since we did that, our Defiant activates and our attack raises sharply. Now Samurott's speed is down as well. We're gonna use Screech again for a second turn. Uses Aqua Cutter. Doesn't do nearly as much this time. We use Screech a second time. And this is fine because while Annihilate, or well, Samurott will cleanse us, he is not going to cleanse himself. So he won't cleanse himself for like 90% of this raid. So we get a third Screech off, which is fantastic. Now at this point, he is getting ready to uh, shields up, which is awesome. Now that Samurai has shields up, we're gonna sit here and uh, wait for him to cleanse us. Now that he's cleansed us, it's time to just start spamming Rage Fist. Now, you will die several times. You, well, I say you will. You may die several times during this raid. And that's fine, because it doesn't matter how many times you die, the effect of Rage Fist is still going to carry over. Okay? So if you get attacked four times before you die, then when you come back, you're in the same spot you were before. He's going to use Aqua Cutter. It's going to do a little bit of damage, but not too much. And then we're going to start throwing out Rage Fist. So we go in, we hit. We do a good chunk of damage and since we did a good chunk of damage our health is almost back up because of the shell bell he cleanses stat changes that's fine we really don't care at this point he uses aqua cutter one more time it's gonna do some damage doesn't really matter to us his shield goes down we come in we throw a rage fist up again since we continue to get it to get attacked rage fist just just gets stronger and stronger we do more damage, back up to full HP. If you do this right, there's a good chance that you die once during this raid and then you never die again. So we come in, we use Rage Fist again, and this should be the last Rage Fist that we need. Boom, just like that, Samurai the Unrivaled. Take it down in like, what, 90 seconds? With Annihilate, one death. Absolutely no stress whatsoever. So get out there, get yourself an Annihilate if you don't have one already. Make the build, and enjoy the last weekend of Samurai Raids. And remember, you got this, I believe in you. Capsule Raid. Let's go.